Each spring, there's a special performance that takes place on the grasslands of the American West. It's something I look forward to all year, something I literally count down the months and weeks to be able to photograph. Just one more sleep, and I'll have the opportunity to photograph this unique and amazing show. It feels amazing to be out with these sharp-tailed grouse again. I've literally been counting down the days this past year to uh, be able to get out here with them again, and it feels so good. It's so fun to watch them and just have them all around me. It's so much fun. Great time I had with those grouse this morning. I apologize about the wind. This area is always incredibly windy. I was lucky this morning that I didn't have wind. 
Uh, I mean, nothing more than a little breeze when I was photographing these guys. So much fun, but they've uh, moved off now and the wind came in. I was really hoping that they would come back and I could get some more pictures, but it's been about half an hour now and they haven't come back. So I'm gonna get going, but what a fun morning with these sharp-tailed grouse. It's always a bird that I love getting out to photograph. Each year I try to get out and photograph them. This is a new area for me, so I feel very fortunate that I was able to explore it a little bit more in depth. I mean, I've just passed through briefly in the past, but I was able to explore it a little bit more in depth, find this area where the birds have been displaying, and be able to set up and get some pictures of them at this new lek, and it's just been great. If you're wondering at all how I choose the areas I do to photograph, uh, how I know where to set up my blind, you know, what a lek is, all this different stuff that I've talked about in this video, go ahead and check out the uh, grouse series of videos that I put together last year. I'll put a link to those in the description below. Uh, but go check those videos out. I go over all that info and hopefully some other questions that you may have as well. And if you have any additional questions, just let me know. I'm going to start making my way back to my base camp though. It's just nearby here. Uh, but I want to try to get out of this sun that's uh, starting to get a little harsh and this wind. See if I can find some shelter out here, which is always kind of tricky. But I'm going to get going and uh, I'll be back in here first thing in the morning. I think this is as good as I'm gonna get out here. There's not much in the way of shelter out here. That wind just came out of nowhere. You know, this landscape is aptly named uh, grassland or shrubland. There's really not many trees out here. So uh, these rocks will have to protect me from the wind this afternoon. I've got a storm blowing in too. And uh, it's coming in quick, but you know, it's just, comes with the territory out here and that's part of what I love about it so uh, I'll hunker down here for the afternoon and maybe move my base camp somewhere a little bit closer but uh, anyways I have been noticing some little flowers these little white flowers and I've got these really cool looking rocks and some cacti and whatnot in the area so I'm gonna see if I can get some pictures might as well if I'm in the area see what I can get. This area is so beautiful though. I'm, I'm grateful that I was able to make it out with these sharp-tailed grouse. I was starting to think I wasn't going to be able to this year, but I set some time aside and here I am. And I'm very lucky that I found them in this new area too. It's just a beautiful, beautiful spot. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Anytime I can make it out with any type of grouse really is just a good day. I'm what I refer to as a grouse geek, and I set grouse goals. I'm <laughs> I just like adding grouse to the beginning of words, I guess. But uh, I really do love grouse. Any type I can get out with is just so much fun. They're magnificent birds to spend time with. If you've never photographed grouse before, I uh, challenge you to do so. Find a species that you think would be fun to photograph and get out, do the research on both, you know, how best to photograph them to get your pictures, but most importantly, how best to photograph them to uh, make sure you're doing so without disturbing them at all. Uh, this morning, those grouse, they had no idea that I was there in that little blind. It's just amazing how well that thing works. I had one that was literally dancing right back and forth in front of my lens. It made it a little tricky to get pictures there for a minute because he was too close to focus, but he was literally just right in front of my lens. <laughs> and it was just, it was funny. But that just goes to show how well hidden I was. And I had a grouse, you know, right behind my blind as well. And it was just fantastic being out with them. So much fun. It really is addicting photographing grouse. So again, if you've never photographed grouse before, I challenge you to get out, get out there and do so. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna hang around here, take some pictures of the details of the terrain, 
see what I can get and then tomorrow morning I'll be back out with those grouse. I'm curious to see what happens with this weather because like I say I've got a big old storm back here blowing in. But I uh, thank you guys for following along this week. If you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out so so much. I always appreciate the support, the comments, feedback, recommendations. If you guys have any uh, species you want to see on this channel let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. And uh, if it's a localish species, I'll be able to get to it hopefully a little bit quicker than I would something that's a little bit farther away, but I do love to travel. So let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I want to thank all you guys who have reached out via email or whatever just to say hi. I always love getting to know new people, new photographers out there. And so I appreciate all the support from all of you. Have a wonderful week, you guys. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Got a raven right up here. Beautiful birds. Got another one coming in. All right, let's see what I can get.